you don't budget for a month and this is what happens. First, it was our food budget that went south. Then we started to buy things and that's when it got out of control. This is the story of what happens when you normally budget and you don't budget for an entire month. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband and I have been budgeting for about 10 years, every month without fail. And this month we didn't. And I want to talk to you about what exactly happened when we budgeted before and how it was different this month and why we actually didn't budget this month. And of course, I want to talk about what we learned from it. We've been budgeting for 10 years, solid 10 years easily. We decided to pay off our debt about two and a half years ago. And by reconciling our budget, we were able to do that. Previously, we knew what we were supposed to be spending on, but whether we spent on it or not, we didn't really know because we didn't really track what we spent. And that's actually kind of what happened this month. I actually did a whole video on the importance of reconciling and I'll link that up in the eye in the sky, but it changed us. So this month, what happened is at the beginning of the month, we kind of went overboard on our food. We were redecorating our daughter's room and every free second was going to paint and putting furniture together and and rearranging and organizing and everything and it was about a two-week process and so we ended up ordering a lot of takeout and a lot of delivery and not cooking we ordered plated which I love by the way I will definitely definitely love that and if you aren't a food prepper this is actually an excellent way to meal prep without the effort but not sponsored by the way. We ended up spending a significantly larger portion on our food budget than we had previously. Normally we spend about four to five hundred dollars on food and this month we spent nine hundred over 900. Then shortly after that, right around the second week of the month, we were doing some changes to our budget and we were going from a, a traditional budgeting category system to a percent based system. So I didn't have my budget in place. And so I wasn't tracking like I normally do. So we use every dollar to do our budget and I normally track everything in every dollar every day. So as it comes through our checking account, I drag and drop it into whatever category it goes into. But because I was messing with every dollar and I was trying to go to a percentage based system in every dollar, I just wasn't really reconciling every day. In fact, I went for like a good maybe two weeks without reconciling. So I really had no clue what was coming in and going out of our budget. Then I volunteered a couple months ago to be the Girl Scout camping coordinator for my daughter's troop. And so I was going to have to go to an overnight training, which by the time this video comes out, I will have already been on that. But I didn't really realize how much stuff I was going to need for that. And I hadn't initially put it in the budget. And yes, I know I could have borrowed it. This is one of the lessons I learned. Had I been budgeting every day, I am 99.9% .9 sure I would have reached out to friends and borrowed the stuff. But because I wasn't budgeting and I wasn't really paying attention to how much we were spending, I didn't. And so I just bought the things that I needed, which meant a backpack, a sleeping bag, a mat to sleep on, a mess kit. And then of course I was like, well, I'm gonna be sleeping outside and I don't really have any outdoor appropriate pajamas. So I need to get some, you know, like a nice hoodie pajama set. Yeah, do you see the eye roll going on here? Cause in truth, I didn't need these things. I could have slept in leggings and a hoodie sweatshirt. I have one. I, I could have come up with solutions and had I been budgeting every day, I would have come up with solutions. But because I wasn't tracking, I wasn't really paying attention to how much we were spending. So I was just like, oh, okay, 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 okay. And I just ordered the things off Amazon, of course, cause you know, I love me some Amazon. Now I will tell you when I was purchasing these things, 
I was trying to make the most fiscally responsible choices. Like I didn't buy the best, most expensive sleeping bag. I bought a sleeping bag that was a no name brand that was highly rated and had been reviewed as like the best cheap sleeping bag. So, you know, I was doing that kind of stuff, but I ended up spending a lot more money than I really needed to. And then I decided, you know, I don't really have any hiking pants. I, you know, I need a pair of hiking pants. So I ordered three. Now I will tell you, I did return them. I kept one pair and returned the rest, but did I need hiking pants? No, I could have worn jeans. I have jeans. Yeah. It, let's be reasonable here. Had I been budgeting, this would not have been that bad. And then Mauricio, my husband, saw what I was doing and he had ordered a video game. It got out of control very quickly. And I wasn't actually going to tell you about it because one, I was embarrassed. And two, I didn't want the backlash. But I decided to go ahead and do this because I know I'm not the only one out there that once you stop budgeting, you get out of control. I am definitely a proponent of forming the habit of budgeting because it is with that habit that you will have success. But I will tell you, we did have a ton of other expenses that were not expected this month. We did have almost $1,000 in medical expenses and we haven't gotten reimbursed by our medical insurance for a lot of them. So we ended up going way in the hole. And then my external hard drive got full and I had to buy a new external hard drive, which is 105 bucks. And it just, it, it seemed to spiral out of control, but you know, a hundred dollars here and $50 there and $20 here and $75 there. You don't really think about the total. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. If you budget and, and budget, daily or every other day, you notice these little things. You notice that this is adding up. You notice how expensive everything is getting all of a sudden and how much you're over. But if you don't do it until the end of the month, you end up being $1,800 over budget. Yep. Not even kidding. $1,800. Now, Mauricio and I are one full month ahead. So we do have one entire month of income sitting in our savings account by the end of the month. So are we impacted? Like, do we have to go into debt to pay off this $1,800? No, we have money sitting right there. But you know where that $1,800 is coming from? It's either coming from our sinking funds or our debt payoff for this month. And that's a lot of money that we could have been putting towards debt. And I almost want to take it from debt as a punishment to remind us that when you make mistakes like this, it slows down your overall financial goals. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.